Hey, we want to let you know that this episode of the show. Are you mocking me? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this episode of the Shea Charts is brought to you by the fine folks love at you. Love's Diapers. Yeah. You can get Love's Diapers at your local Walmart. Hey! I'm vlogging here. Okay. I'm coming a little bit. Somebody's touching my bum. Yeah. Oh, what? What? Hey, everybody. Hey guys. What's going hey guys. on? <laughs> Daxon, say hi, everybody. <laughs> this episode of the Shea Charts is brought to you by Shea Oh, from my Love Diapers! You can get a finger. Oh, did I? Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> Today's Shea Charts vlog is brought to you by the fine folks. Bye -bye. No, we just started. <laughs> We just started. The fine folks love at you. Love's Diapers. Yeah. We are actually working on a skit. That's, my mm -hmm. That's your diapers. These are your diapers. Uh, um, he went, whoa, whoa, let me check. Let me check the box. So we are working on a hilarious. Bye -bye. <laughs> he just has to be the star of the show. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just gonna talk. Bye -bye. I need to talk now. Bye -bye. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Alright, so we wanted to let you guys know that next month Bye, we... <laughs> This is how it's gonna be. We just have to embrace it, I think. Say loves diapers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they're right here. <laughs> no, point to the ones in the box, not the one Where's you're wearing. The diapers? Honest question, Daxton. Do you like these diapers? Yep. Yep, they're yep, pretty good diapers. diapers. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so loves uh I nice. <laughs> Okay, maybe he'll just copy me. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Get some Love's Diapers at your local Walmart. You can get Love's Diapers at your local Walmart. You can get these Love's Diapers at your local Walmart. Say Walmart. Good. One thing we love about these diapers is that they are super absorbent. Loves has challenged us to a mommy daddy confessional mm -hmm. where we're gonna ask each other questions about parenting, about diapers, about changing diapers, about this little guy. <laughs> we're gonna do a daddy confessional where mom is gonna ask me questions and then you guys can go to her channel and watch me ask her questions. And then you can go to his channel to learn how to speak Spanish. What? <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready to ask Daddy some questions? Yeah. Okay. I want to ask Daddy, what was it like changing your very first diaper ever? Ew. I remember. I remember. I remember it. It too. Make me laugh. I remember the very first time I changed Gavin's diaper. I got a big beach towel mm -hmm. wrapped around my head like a scarf, and I went to town. And lots That's of so wipes. Nice. That's my one daddy tip. If you're gonna ask me daddy confessional questions, you need a lot of wipes when you're going in there to change yeah. those diapers, it's baby. It's worth the money. Just Ugh. buy the wipes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. What is one of your tips for getting the children to sleep, Shay? <laughs> Rough housing? I was gonna say, I think I have a few ideas. Here's honestly the best tip that I have for putting little babies like this to sleep. He sees us putting all of his brothers and sisters to sleep. Mm -hmm. So he knows like, oh, everybody's going to bed. So we usually like to put him to bed the same time as the other kids because if we try to put him to bed like before he's ready and we're like, well, let's put Dax in the bed. He knows, he's like, what, everybody's Everyone up partying. I wanna stay up too. And then we put him to bed and he's all mad. So usually we try to put him to get with all of his brothers and sisters. We put him to bed at the same time. And then I'll talk to him. I'll say, Daxon, look at me in the eyes. Look at me in the eyes. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Look at me. We're gonna go to sleep. We're gonna get a good night's rest. And then we're gonna wake up in the morning and we're gonna have breakfast. Yeah. And we're gonna play in the snow. And I'll tell him, I'll go like through the whole, like what, this is what we're doing, we're going to bed, and then when we wake up, it's gonna be another beautiful day, and we're gonna have breakfast, and we're gonna change your diaper, and it's gonna be great. 
Yeah. He really responds well to that. That's how no. that's how I get him to go to sleep. I try yeah. to just level with him, basically. Yeah. And then I beg, no. please, please go to sleep. But I've noticed too that it really no. helps the kids to have that quality time no. of day. I know I tease him about roughhousing right before bed no. is that he's riling him up, but no. I think it just helps him to have that quality time. No. Yeah, I think wrestling your kids right before bed can actually help it because then help. they're like Loosened up and they're tired and yeah, they're like, oh, I got to rough house and now it's time to go sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Next question. What is your strategy for changing a diaper on a plane? Uh, here, hey, can you change him? Hey, can you change him? <laughs> I'm watching this. Wait a second. <laughs> That's actually accurate. <laughs> Dude, you just hope and pray that they have those little oh. fold down tables. And you just hope that it's not like during takeoff or landing because you won't yeah. be able to go to the bathroom. All right, guys, thanks for joining us on this daddy confessional. If you want to go see the answers that Colette gave, go to her channel, links below. Dax, we have to ask mommy some questions. You ready? Ask questions. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the holiday season. You know what that means. It's time to go to the places that want to take some of your money. What's that? Oh, you're watching entertainment as you ride in the nice lava girl. Yeah, think about in the 1800s, Brock. They didn't have Shark Boy and Lava Girl. They had to walk the plains. They're superheroes. Yeah, they were. To endure that cold without a car to sit in. No, those guys, those are, those guys aren't heroes. Anyways, we're gonna go eat dinner. Come on, let's go. Get up. They trained him into a shark. Okay, buddy. I love you. Brock, listen. I love the boots. I think you look great in them. And I love that that's what you wear everywhere we go. At least you got a hoodie on tonight. Let's go, young Jedi. Look like a young Jedi. I Dax, like so hey, get down from there, Colette. You got an escapee. He's trying to get over the wall. Are you looking in my ear? What's in my ear? What do you find? Oh, she hasn't cleaned him in weeks. Ooh, earwax. <laughs> he thinks that's so funny. Be nice. I'll bite your nose off. <laughs> See, look, I'll put it in my nose ring. Here's the onion nose ring. I want it on my nose. Comes with my salad. Look at his face. Want a bite? Want a bite? Bleh. No. Better not. I'm trying to quit onions. No. Hey, dude, no, you don't yell at me. No. Too silly. Oh, me, oh, my. Avia, are you excited for this moment? She's doing spirit fingers for, with, for the wings. You know it's a good appetizer when you do spirit fingers. You guys want me to tell you a little secret about Brock? Hey Brock, how old are you? Five. <laughs> he, hasn't, he doesn't have time to talk right now. Brock just asked me, Dad, when I grow up, am I gonna have my own cell phone? It's already happening. Brock, do you realize you wore the same thing as your big brother? How embarrassing. Look, you guys have the same shirt on. You guys Cowboys fans or what? I think I found what I want for Christmas. I'm inside of it right now. It's an inflatable, portable hot tub. What do you guys think? It's very comfortable. Just chilling in here. I don't know where Colette is. We we dropped the kids off with Candace to, to, for her to babysit them while we come to the shopping. This has a digital thing right there. This might be nice. I can put this in the back of my truck. Check this out. It comes with a pump. Everything. Babe. I know what I want for Christmas. Dude, you know how we got a, a pool in the summertime? Now we can get an inflatable. Oh, babe. Let's get on it. There's the advertisement for the inflatable hot tub. It's winter time. You deserve to put your boots up. <laughs> Do you like it? Can I get this for Christmas? It's very cozy, right? I know, I sat in it. I was very relaxed as well. Dude, 500 bucks for that. It made me laugh the first time I saw it, I'll be honest. Why? I was like, that's a redneck hot dog. <laughs> You're a redneck. I like it. Oh crap, is that true? Only three days until Christmas. <laughs> oh man, we've gotten Christmas shopping a Lenza. It's like influenza, but you get it when you start Christmas shopping too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure All what right. we're doing here, but we're listening to Christmas is again the snow. <laughs> and we're driving in. Can this you zoom in to show weather. the road? We're getting a, a storm here. I don't know why. 
it is already been blanketed and we've got like another three inches in the last two hours or so. And we're still on the road. Golly gee. Let's zoom in over here on the okay, windows. Well, there's drifts. There's a lot of drifts. Zoom in on those drifts, dude. Okay. Can you zoom in right here? Zoom Look at those drifts. Those drifts. Dude, it's like fresh tracks. We should be in a snowmobile hey, right now. Like, try, to, try to zoom in. Can you zoom in on? Well, I am zoomed in. Do you want it like closer? Because it yeah, just looks like a big white blur. Yeah, yeah, these roads ain't the best to be out driving on. This is old Widowmaker's Corner. <laughs> Widowmaker's Corner. Slow down on this one. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> I tell you, if I was driving, we would just camp out for the night. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how's it going? This is a Christmas present alert. I repeat, a Christmas present alert. I got you one, it's under the tree. You're gonna see it on Christmas morning, wink, wink. No, I wish, I wish I could give every single one of you a Christmas present. Oh, maybe this is my present to you, a smile. Oh, dang it, you can't see it. That's a crappy Christmas present. <laughs> This is the end slate, it's only audio. Can you hear my smile? Ready? I'm gonna give you a, this is my Christmas present to you guys, an audio smile, huh? Have you ever been given an audio smile before, huh? I didn't think so, so don't knock it. Here you go, one, two, three. I was smiling, could you feel it? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! No, it is December 22nd. This is the real Christmas present alert. You have three days to get Christmas presents. If you haven't got them, you might be too late. You are gonna be like on the bargain bin, you know, scavenging through with the rest of us dudes who are like, I'll get it the day before, uh -huh, uh -huh. Whoops, no, there's no presents left now, smart guy. <sighs> Anyways, Merry Christmas, that does not matter uh, because as long as you have your life and you're alive on the earth here and you have a family or a loved one, then you can be happy. I just wanna say condolences to my friend Jesse Wellens. His mom passed away recently. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I was tweeting about a friend whose mom had been missing, and she had come up missing for like a week, and then they had just found her. And I don't know all the details, and I'm not gonna ask them. I love my friend Jesse, and I know he loved his mom. And I know we should all be grateful for the relationships we have. So please don't be disappointed with a Christmas present, or maybe you feel discouraged because you can't get the Christmas presents for the people you love, and you're like, man, this year sucks because I don't have enough money to buy presents. That doesn't matter, I promise you. Just a hug and a handshake and look somebody in the eye that you might really, really, really miss someday when they're not here, and tell them you love them, and tell them Merry Christmas. All right, we love you guys. On that note, we're out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. Shaytard's Christmas special is right around the corner. I hope you're going to like it. I got some cool stuff planned. <laughs> see you tomorrow.